Hello my friends. This is the continuation of my water delivery system for the aquaponic flow right towers. There, if you look, I have a old political sign come off this road uh, for a cover. Uh, it looks like corrugated cardboard, but it's made out of plastic. So it's real light and uh, I used the darker side down to reflect minimum light. So that should block most of the sunlight that would shine into the, the barrel and we want to keep any algae growth down. So that's why I have it covered. Flood valve right here working very well. Uh, the only last thing I want to do is divert that tube down into the grow, grow beds instead of splashing on the top of it. And I'll do that with a a uh, PVC pipe and fit it right down into the as a drain. Here's the finished overflow pipe and it catches the water that comes out of the overflow tube and then it delivers it down into the sump tank or the floating raft bed. During the water flow cycle, the amount of water entering the individual grow towers needs to be regulated. And I'm doing that by drawing a hole to work as an orifice to uh, control that water flow. At the top of each tower, there's a half inch pipe that extends into it. And these caps terminate that pipe and control the water flow. I'm using a 3 16 inch drill bit for th these holes. And this is all experimental, but it seems to be uh, right size. Another alternative to the caps for these end pipes is uh, heating the end of the pipe and crimping the pipe to uh, change the opening size. Takes about 22 seconds and I've been using this channel lock to give it a squeeze and hold it to where I think is a good size then this sets up. It's almost an instant uh, setting. And we're doing both sides, both sizes. Guess at a size, we have to figure out which ones are going to work. So Here I'm installing the end pipes into the individual grow towers. Here I'm installing the the reducers. All these towers now all have uh, drilled caps in them and everyone is flowing and it seems to work pretty effectively. So now we'll test the system. Uh, I just cut this 
to the length of the tower. So it's just under five foot. So I want the medium to be starting right here at the uh, top cup, cup holder and the fill tube extends down into here. So you don't want the medium up into this area anyway. And this I'm going to split down the center. This piece will make, make two. This is uh, a coarse pond filter material. And it should be able to be used over and over. At least that's what they do with the other grow mediums. Now I'm going to fold this and slip this down inside and then it should open up. We'll test this and see how these will perform. And I'm checking to see if the fold is near the opening. Okay, it's all the way up. And I have it all the way down Extend it into the bottom. Okay, we're going to hook this up and plant it and see how this performs. The other thing <coughs> that I would like to try is stuffing some of this up in the top to s see if it can disperse the water as it's going down through the tower. So I'm going to roll this up, make it fairly dense and then stuff it in this end right like that and put that in the tower and see how the water will come out of the bottom of this see if it'll make it like it's raining that's what I'm hoping for pick that up and test her out here's another scheme that I'm going to try. I'm going to use a grow cup or net pot, wrap this and stuff it inside and see how that will transport the water and support the roots. And I'll try this in the whole tower. Okay, it's flowing here. You can see the water hitting it. And it's being carried down through. And all of these are wet. So that looks like that's transporting the water fine. seems like the best way to insert these is put the material in first, set it to the position that you want it, and then stuff the cup in. Now that was much easier than the way I was playing with it before. These cubes are measuring about three by four inches. That seems to be the size that is easiest to work with. Perfect. Here's the tower growing strawberries. 
and if you can see here I have one of the foam collars that holds it in there. It keeps the water in the tube and keeps the uh, strawberries pretty dry. And now what we want to do is plant some towers with the new uh, water delivering system. Here's one of the towers with some strawberries in it. And you can see right there I need one plant. The tower next to it is the one we're going to plant. And we have it. Wrap the collar around the crown. Keep the roots in. And I start on the front edge and then push them back in. And right there. Here we have this one that has some runners. First thing I want to do is clean all this off. That's a kind of a short runner, so I'm going to leave that one. And this one is long enough that I can make it extend down into the next cup holder and not even cut the extension there. Now this one doesn't fit. So, I'm going to take a bigger one. We're able to get a second plant. Divide that one. Tuck that one in, nice fit. Here we have one. You can see the roots grow right through these. So we're going to try to pull this one apart. And right there again, we'll get three plants, possibly even more later. Here's some more. They look good. Set this one down. like that. There the water's flowing and I'm not seeing but the camera's doing the looking for me.
I like I like what it's doing. All the water is staying inside the tower. And it seems to be wetting these cups real well. I'm kind of excited over this one. I think this one I might uh, try some serious growing with. Uh, uses minimal amount of the uh, grow medium, which that's one of the expensive items. And I think this will support the root system real well and disperse the water pretty good through the towers. Uh, a little bit of testing will let me know how it's going to function. You can see here without um, any cups or plants, the water wants to escape the towers and we want to try to contain all the water in the towers. <clears throat> what I would like to try to do uh, also is uh, use like a hybrid method here with the uh, uh, filter mesh, the medium that we're using, and uh, one of the collars from the noodles that we cut and use these together as another growing medium. And that would just lock in real tight and lock the plants in. Thanks for watching my friends. Bye bye.